Okay, on a side note, uh, a good morning everyone here on Asia. So we've just received a notice that Valve is introducing the Steam Deck, which is like the Nintendo Switch Pro that the media wanted but running on Steam, as in Steam OS. So the Steam on your PC is integrated into this handheld device and it is being marketed as a P handheld personal computer. So let's get into the dock, shall we? And I'll give my thoughts on the Steam Deck. But in my very own eyes, it looks like the Game Gear. Yeah. It looks like the Sega Game Gear got reincarnated. And it looks bulky. It has the controller interface on top of the handheld. I don't know how, how I feel about that. I already have trouble controlling my Switch with the Joy-Cons at the side. So having it there seems to be awkward. And it seems that at the back, it has more triggers. Because remember, this is being marketed as a personal computer. So let's go into this. So... It's not available for country because it's the pre-order is available for Canada, US, and Europe. So no Asia pre-orders yet, which is disappointing. Which means I have to deal with scalping again. So it has in it has three models, 64 gigabytes, 256 gigabytes, and 512 gigabytes. I'm personally going for the 512 gigabytes because if you want a gaming PC on the go, you need the memory to hand to handle it, right? And say that the that it can, it is micro SD compatible is not enough for me. Look, I'm using a phone with 128 gigabytes, and it's not enough for me. What more is it with a PC running at 64 gigabytes? That's potato. If you unless you want a potato personal computer or potato handheld. Yeah, go with 64 gigabytes. But for me, I'm gonna go with 512 gigabytes personally. And remember, on my Switch, I think it is 128. Wait, it's 32 gigabytes. Yeah, it's. Th I think it's 32. And I've already archived so many games. From there, it's not even crazy. So, portability meets power. It has a Zen 2 RDNA 2 powerhouse. Delivering more than enough performance to run the latest AAA games in a very efficient power envelope. It has video seeing running Jedi Fallen Order handheld. So, yeah. Good stuff. Steam library anywhere. Once you've logged onto the Steam Deck, your entire Steam library shows up. Just like any other PC, you'll be able to find your collection of favorites exactly where you left them. So basically, you can buy the console and you already have the games given you have bought them on your PC on Steam. And that includes Dota. I wouldn't mind Dota's handheld, if you know what I mean. If it means easier to control the courier, I hate the courier mechanic in Dota. I think it's ass. It's all about hard counters there, but if I have to play it with a controller or in... And had the opportunity to play it in a handheld. I think it's a good deal for me to play Dotes on the go. Control with comfort. So it has built for extended play sessions using thumbsticks or track pads. The concern here is if it drips. Which most likely I think it can drip. I don't know how Valve would alleviate that problem. But my main concern here is... Maybe the joy the Joy-Con, the analog stick will still drift, and that's not it for me. Also, I guess it will transfer your controller mapping on Steam to that console, which is good. Oh so yeah. So you can dock it on your monitor and treat it as a PC. You can have a USB-C hub which is sold separately. So just like the switch, you can dock it on the monitor. You can install it. You can put in keyboard, mouse, 
and you'll be just fine. You'll be playing it as a PC. I've seen people playing Death Stranding on a monitor with using the Steam Deck as a CPU. And I wouldn't mind a new deck, as you all know. Uh, my M Nintendo Switch dock isn't working fine, so maybe the, the Switch can work also work on this dock as well. Maybe. I'll find out. But I'm pretty interested on in setting on getting this one. So $399 is the starting price. We get it all in one portable PC gaming. So it's they're marketing it not as a console, as a PC game. We got hardware designed to be powerful, portable, versatile. It has micro SD support, as you see in the GIFs. Yeah, that's a micro SD. It has a micro SD slot. Steam Deck is there. It's easy as pie on logging Steam without compromises. Now, my main issue here is. What about. Other games like Valorant and League. I've seen video from I think GameSpot showcasing that it has a browser running on the Steam Deck when dock. So can I install a Riot client on the Steam Deck such that I can run Valorant? On? I think that's one of the questions that I want to answers to can it run Valorant can it run crisis the classic meme can it run crisis so while we wait for the thing to load for the software let's go about the Steam Deck is the most powerful handled gaming handled in the world the hardware so it has comfort I don't know about comfort it's Spectacularly decided looks like the Game Gear, as I've said. That's thumbsticks. It has triggers. Too many triggers. As that. That's grip ball. Yeah, it has too many triggers at the side. It has a 7 inch track touch screen. That's nice. In case your thumbstick would drip, you can use the touch screen. Track pads. And a gyro. Yeah, that. And he's playing Left 4 Dead. Ah, nice. Uh, that's Doom Eternal. Yeah, it's Doom Eternal in a in a handle. I mean, Doom Eternal on a handle isn't nothing isn't new. I have Doom Eternal on the Switch. How much the battery life? Seven to eight hours. But I guess two hours if you're doing high-ended games. So that sucks. I mean, a plane, you can even play it on a plane ride, right? Wireless, it has wireless connectivity, of course. Fast suspend resume. Hi fi audio, fast storage, external IO. Let's see the tech specs for this. Tech specs. It has a headphone jack. It has a headphone jack. Very net, very nice. It has no kickstand. That's a thing. Processor. CPU good. Four four hundred eight gigaflops teraflops of GPU. They went all in on the GPU. Control inputs. Two to eight hours of battery. I was right. So that kind of take it, but takes a gripe of my decision. But if I want to play it, I'm gonna have it dock all the time anyway. So yeah. Software is Steam OS, Arc Base, Architecture Base, KDE Plasma. This is the official dock. Okay, let's see the software. So 
So it has a Steam chat, it has remote play, stream stream games from your home PC direct to your deck no matter where you are. It has cloud save, it has a store, community, notification. It has a Steam chat. So it has a Baldur's Gate running on it. So is it really just the Steam library? Because that sucks. I kind of want to play Valorant on it. Let's see. That's Nino Kuni. Okay. On Steam Deck, your games run on different operations than your own in your desktop PC. It's a new version of Steam OS, but built with Steam Deck in mind and optimized for handle gaming. Comes with Proton, a layer for Deck, where vastly improving Proton's compatibility support anti-cheat so it must be really all about steam well that's a bummer but maybe we'll get more answers like if we can sideload Valorant on it but all in all it looks solid it looks large for a handheld it doesn't fit even in your pocket but you can argue the switch doesn't fit in your pocket unless you're using the light so yeah steam deck I think it's a solid buy I am excited to have one maybe on December if I manage to get a lucky access on the device maybe I'll buy it just to play dotes on the road that is my take have a good morning carry on